Something that most corporate people understand that local people rarely get is that discriminators at the lowest of levels of their employee associate network are often the problems of a corporation. They ruin a brand. They want to discriminate against someone because they told them information that was possibly truthful. Because if your employees are doing nothing wrong, then there should be absolutely no complaints. But people do have the predilection to be insulted very quickly by what customers say. And the truth is, maybe the customer was not a problem. Maybe the employee was refusing to listening. And maybe they're refusing to listen based on their own version of discrimination. Discrimination is something that most cities talk about not allowing today, but that doesn't mean that abuses don't happen today. We don't have companies that are thinking about their brand at the low level is absolute truth. And a lot of times those employees don't care because their attitude is, this is just a paycheck and I'm here and buyer beware. The truth is that we have to really start teaching this to, to people because they're not grasping that there's millions of dollars in that store and any product the person went in there to buy or look for can get looped into their inappropriate behavior. Those companies that you represent, those products that you vend, all have code of ethics and behavior of employees of those companies. A lot of times the presumption and the verbiage in the articles of, in terms of written contracts of buying products to be vended in a store will outline what they expect of associate behavior.